What's going on, Paranormal World? Pretty interesting video today. Zach Bagans of the Ghost Adventures crew had a lot to get off his chest in regard to Tony Sparrow over the Annabelle doll. If you aren't familiar with Tony Sparrow, he is the son-in-law of Ed and Lorraine Warren, and he's the current owner of the Annabelle doll. And speaking of Ed and Lorraine Warren, I have several videos lined up debunking their paranormal cases, so definitely be on the lookout for that and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out. Anyway, recently, Tony had some harsh criticism for Zack and the Ghost Adventures crew. If you remember, back in 2017, the Travel Channel hosted a Halloween special with Ghost Adventures, and the Annabelle doll was one of the main attractions. With strict guidelines and informing Zack not to touch the doll, and Zack did it anyway, and that's when Tony stormed out of the museum. Apparently, after this past Screaming Room episode of Ghost Adventures, Tony has called out the Ghost Adventures crew, but here is Zach Bagan's Facebook post responding to Tony, and I quote, Tony Sparrow, Annabelle's owner. I'm fed up with all the nasty things this man is saying about myself, my entire crew, and our show. Just FYI, I don't get into social media conflicts often, but I am not a fan of Tony Sparrow, Annabelle's current owner. He said very nasty things about me and my crew after our original episode for no reason, and he continues to do so after last night's screaming room. If his claims of Annabelle being purely evil slash demonic and had the power to cause a god's fatal motorcycle accident just for talking to her outside of her protected case, then why would he even be taking her out the protective seal case that Ed and Lorraine Warren put a sign up that reads, Warning, positively do not open then cram her into a small plastic briefcase and use oven mitts to carry her around my museum putting her in a high chair and let us investigate her oh wait for a large amount of money he was quick to collect after he stormed off the set wonder how ed and lorraine warren would feel you took annabelle out of the case and said never too big for a big check stop being a hypocrite tony tony questions and slams our knowledge of the paranormal but he thinks the doll's demon will behave because he's wearing oven mitts to hold her. And we are safe only if we don't touch her. But can be inches away from her investigating her? Question mark. I was clearly being affected by something during our investigation with Annabelle. And we documented incredible evidence with Tony watching live. But Tony never cared about any of that or understood that I was being affected. Before Tony took Annabelle out of his briefcase, I wasn't feeling well, so I asked Tony if this could be caused by Annabelle. He told me I wasn't being affected by Annabelle. That's a warning. Annabelle doesn't want us to show her. That's a forerunner. Then when I did subsequently touch her foot, I explained to Tony that I don't recall doing that, which I didn't. I even apologized. We even captured grab foot on our live EVP device, which was pretty compelling. Remember, he told me Annabelle was affecting me. So why wouldn't he understand that and offer me concern or help in that situation? And as a keeper of that doll, he shouldn't have attacked me, but been more sympathetic to the situation and offered to help cleanse me with his holy water. Now remember, Tony told me I was being affected by the forerunner Annabelle's power before the investigation even started. But he did nothing. He didn't even use holy water to help. Nothing. With all his hate, negative post really fueled by me subsequently touching his doll's foot did i damage the doll no does tony care about my well-being hell no this was just something he could use to get his money and get back home which he did in a hurry just asked for his check and here's the best part he took off his rosary and left it in my museum why would he do that hmm if annabelle just had this power to affect me before even taking her out the briefcase wouldn't Tony want to stay protected as well to this demon-possessed doll that he was always using oven mitts to carry? Maybe he has a deal with the devil that I don't know about. Tony wrote, I brought the doll to his museum in good faith. <laughs> really, Tony? We didn't pay you thousands for this as you demanded. <laughs> Laughable. Sounds like a quick money grab. Get in, get out. You didn't like us before you even arrived. That was obvious how your attitude was off and on camera. Not a nice guy at all. Tony said the young man who died on the motorcycle challenged Annabelle to do the worst. Here's what Tony quoted the man said as the worst. 
If that dog can do anything, do it to me right now. Hey, Tony, as you agreed to let us do this investigation, not in good faith, as you wrongly stated, but for thousands, wouldn't you assume our investigation will also be telling Annabelle to do something for evidence? Wouldn't that put us at fatal risk? But was the check you collected more important? Tony also demanded first class air tickets only for he and Annabelle. I'm sure Annabelle would have been extra demonic if she had to fly coach. He demanded a first class air ticket for a demon, <laughs> laughing my ass off. And you want to disrespect my entire Ghost Adventures crew by saying Ed had more knowledge on his pinky than my whole crew does? You were a hater of me and my crew before you even arrived that day to my museum. Everyone stated how bad your condescending attitude was the moment you arrived. And it's not all about the money for us. So says the man who owns the money making Hollywood doll. This is our life. End quote. Wow. <laughs> I mean, Zach said everything he needed to say. And I definitely agree with Zach 100%. I do believe Tony Sparrow is an opportunist looking for money. Making profits off fake paranormal stories. However, I feel like Zach is a hypocrite as well. Because everything Zach said about Tony and the Annabelle doll, I've been saying the same thing about Zach and the Dybbuk box. But that's just my two cents. Honestly, I'm happy Zach called out Tony. I never got a good vibe from him. I don't know, he just seems too cocky. Even when I watch YouTube videos of Tony and Ed and Lorraine Warren, I don't know, I just get a bad vibe from him. So what do you guys think about this whole situation? Was Zach right for calling out Tony Sparrow? Do you think he's a fraud? Comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more paranormal content and discussions. You definitely don't want to miss out, especially if you love ghost adventures, horror movies, anything. So check out my channel. If you're impressed, subscribe. As always, be safe. Peace.